Hi everyone, this is the video which continue from the previous video on the tutorial of uh, the position of a trigger function. Previously, we have a question 1 to 4 in the first part uh, of the video and uh, this is the second part of the video which I will continue the question 5, 6 and 7. Let's look at the question 5. Differentiate the following function with respect to x. The question 5, I have a few questions on this in this question 5 let's look at the question a first uh, fx equals to sine square x so if you want to differentiate it I will rewrite this in this form sine x and the whole thing square and I will see this function as a two layers function or I will say that I have an outer function which is something square is the first layer and the second layer is the sine so I will differentiate the layer by layer, which are actually I'm applying the chain rule. So to get the f prime x, firstly we will try to differentiate something power of square. To differentiate something power of square, you will bring the two over to the front, and then the power minus one, you get one. And this inner function, which is my second layer function, I will just copy it down, and then multiply by Differentiate the inner function, which is the second layer function. Differentiate sine, you will get cos. Then you simplify it, you will get sine 2 sine x cos x. And if you like to uh, simplify by using the trigol, uh, loss of a uh, trigol, this is a uh, sine 2x. Okay, then we move to the question B. For the question B, same thing, I will write the fx as cos 2x and the whole thing power of 3. So I will see this function as the two layer function again. Or you may say that okay, this is a three layer function which I have a power of 3, which is my first layer, and then the cos as the second function, and the 2x as the third layer. So to differentiate this function, I need to differentiate the outer layer of this uh, function, which is power of 3. So how do you differentiate power of 3? You will bring the 3 over to the front and the power minus 1 you will get 2. The inner function you just copy it down. And multiply by differentiate cos. Differentiate cos what do you get? Differentiate cos you will get negative sign. And we don't care what is inside this cos, we just copy it down. And finally differentiate the uh, the third layer function, third layer function, which is my two x, differentiate two x with respect to x, you get two, and then finally we can uh, simplify it by uh, multiply the three negative one and two, you get negative six, and uh, simplify some more, you will get cos square two x, multiply by sine two x. All right, now we move to question C, example C. And again, I will apply the same uh, concept. I will just uh, rewrite my fx in this form so that we can see clearly uh, actually how many layers of function do we need to differentiate. First layer, I have power of 3. Second layer is the tangent. And the third layer is 1 over 2x. So to differentiate this function, I will consider to differentiate the power of 3. How do you differentiate power of 3? x power of 3 with respect to uh, x, it will bring the 3 over. And this inner function just uh, provide a bracket so that they, later on you can copy it down. And uh, the power of 3, you are going to minus 1, you get 2. So this one, inner function, we just copy it down inside the bracket. And multiply by differentiate tangent, we don't care what is this. We just uh, remember, uh, differentiate tangent, we get secant squared secant square okay so what is inside here doesn't matter just copy it down and then the third layer is differentiate the inner the uh, inner function which is 1 over 2s differentiate 1 over 2s with respect to s you get 1 over 2 then you simplify it you will get a 3 over 2 tangent square 1 over 2x secant square 1 over 2 Alright, then we move to the question D, same thing, rewrite the abacus in this form, sine 
3x minus 1 and then the whole thing power of 2. So you will see this function as a 3 layers function which I have a square for the first layer. Second layer is a sine and the third layer is a 3x minus 1. So we're going to uh, differentiate one by one. Yeah? Differentiate, you will get uh, differentiate the power of 2. You just bring the 2 over. Okay, and then provide a bracket. Copy down the inner function. And the power minus 1, you get 1. Then you differentiate sine, you get cos. We don't care what, what, what is uh, this function. We just copy it down. This is the inner function. And multiply by, okay, multiply by, or uh, differentiate the 3x minus 1, which you get through. Okay, then uh, you simplify it. You got 2. This is multiplied by 3, eh? multiply by 3. So you got the 6 sine 3x minus 1 multiplied by cos 3x minus 1. Alright, this is your answer. And then question E. We have a negative 6 cos power of 4, 1 minus x. Alright, so I rewrite my fx in this form, negative 6. Multiply by cos 1 minus x power of 4. This is a coefficient negative 6. Just to copy it down when you differentiate. And uh, now you have a um, three layers function, which the first layer is the power of 4. Second layer is cos and the third layer is 1 minus x. To differentiate the power of 4, you are, you are going to bring the 4 over to the front. And uh, whatever inside this inner function, just copy it down. And the power, you minus 1, you get 3. Multiply by, multiply by, you differentiate the inner function, which is a differentiate cos, you get negative sign. And uh, the inner function, 1 minus x, you just copy down. Once you have done, you just uh, differentiate the inner function, which is a 1 minus x. Differentiate 1 minus x with respect to x, you get negative 1. All right. Then you simplify. Simplify, you get negative 24. Negative 24 multiplied by a negative 1, you get positive 24. Positive 24 multiplied by negative 1, negative 24. And uh, cos, power of 3, 1 minus x, multiplied by a sine, 1 minus x. Okay, this is your answer. And for the f, again, rewrite your function as a negative sine x squared plus 8 and this power of 2. So to get the f prime x, which I will just copy down the negative 1 first, and bring the 2 over, this is the first layer, so uh, first layer function which is square, I will differentiate it first and uh, bring over the 2 to the front and uh, provide a bracket to put in the inner function which is your sine x squared plus 8. And the power 2, you minus 1, you get 1. After that, multiply by differentiate the second layer, which is differentiate sine, you get cos. x squared plus 8, just copy down. And uh, differentiate the uh, inner layer, which is x squared plus 8, differentiate with respect to x, you get 2x. Okay, then after that, simplify it. Negative 2 multiplied by 2x, you get negative 4x. And uh, sine, you get a sine x squared plus 8. Then you get a cos multiplied by cos x squared plus 8. Alright. Alright. So now I'm going to get your f prime max. f prime max, 4, just copy down. And uh, differentiate the outer function, which is 2. Power of 2, you bring the power of 2 over to the front. And the inner function, just copy down. Power minus 1, you get 1. Yeah? Then multiply by the second layer. Second layer function, differentiate it, you get negative sign. You don't care whatever inside this, uh, bra uh, the, inside this bracket. We just copy down first. And then multiply by, now we can differentiate this uh, inner function, which is I got my negative 4x. Alright. Then after that, we simplified it. You've got a 4, 4, 16. 16 multiplied by 32 and uh, you got positive 32. Uh, multiply by cos 3 minus 2x squared. Multiply by sine 3 minus 2x squared. 
for the part H in question 5. Same thing will apply. Write down the coefficient and uh, we write our cos function in this form, meaning that put a bracket and then whole thing is cubed. And you can see that the first layer function is power of 3, second layer is cos, third layer is the true x. We're going to differentiate layer by layer. Copy down the coefficient first, 5, and the 3 you bring over. The, when you are differentiating the something power of 3, you bring over the 3 to the front and then the power minus 1, you got 2. Inner function, just copy down. And now, so this is the answer. It, this answer is a negative. Because this is a negative. Negative 30 cos squared 2x sine 2x. Alright, so for the question 6 and 7. I will do it in another video. So thank you for watching.